Okay, so this is going to be a useful video, I hope, for those of you who are working across different Adobe Premiere uh, versions on Macs and PCs uh, with the same footage. You're going to want to combine several projects into one. Uh, it's not hard. What we're going to do here is make what's called an edit decision list. So inside of Adobe Premiere, let's say this is the sequence I want to export. This is an old sequence. I've used it before for videos. Nothing special about it, but it's simple enough we'll be able to see how it works. So what I do is I select this sequence in my timeline. I have to make sure this yellow line is around it. Then I go up here to File, Export, EDL. Select that. It allows you to make a title, so uh, Andy's office. We'll call it that. I hit OK. Uh, I'm just going to save this on the desktop. I think I already tried this one, so I'm going to do that just so we can find it. Hit save. All right, so that just made a very tiny little file. Now, I'm going to open up a different project. Uh, this is one that just doesn't really even have anything in it. Okay, so you see here's nothing on the sequence, nothing in my bin. And what I'm going to do is import that file that I just made and put on the desktop. It's this one here. Andy Rice Office Space 2 EDL. So if I hit import, uh, NTSC is what you want selected here. Select OK. Uh, this is the setting that you are going to want to select for your sequence. See it grayed out there. It should automatically select it for you. Hit OK. And it comes in to this new project as a folder. And this will work for any of your current projects. If I double click on that, you'll see Right now the media is not online. What we have to do is relink it, but we have all of the edits that were in the original sequence there. Uh, so to relink media, what you do is you select all those clips, hold down shift, click on the bottom one, and you hold down control and click on the sequence and you use this link media option. Alright, so this is why it's important to have all of the media on your drives. And it's asking you, it says, where is this clip here? Uh, so you're going to want to know exactly where this is or search for it. Let's see if that works. File name. Yeah. So I relink that one. It finds it for me. Then it asks, where is this file? This uh, MVI0062. So I'll search for this one too. Find it. And it should find the rest of them because they're all located in the same folder. So click OK. It finds the rest. And look at that. Now we have my sequence in a new project. So those of you who are working on like the bus project, uh, this is how you're going to combine the various films that you've made into one sequence when you need to do that. It's not hard, uh, and I think this video more or less covers it. So it should work for you as long as you have all the footage, the source footage, all of this footage copied from those little disk, um, little cards that work in your cameras into the same external hard drive. So the external hard drives, the things with the orange casing around them, or the G, the G drive, uh, a couple of you have those as well. All right, good luck.